positive development for Liberia as a nation. For those of us who have been in the democratic struggle for years, uh, we see that uh, we are consolidating the gains of democracy. Um, and the exercise of one's right to vote for their choice is a fundamental right, freedom of association and so forth, and I think it's a full exercise. Now that the political environment has been created, I think every Liberian must take advantage of it. Uh, knowing where we come from as a country is very important. Years ago, we know, and for many of us who were victimized and had to go to prison, we understood and we knew that this day would come. And that's why we struggled. Uh, there were times in this country where many of us could not even speak as we speak now. There were many of us who could not have an opportunity, option to come to a polling center. So I'm very happy and I think all like should take advantage of it. So what do you notice on the ballot paper while voting? Well, I, um, I, I look through the paper. Uh, as you know, on the, on the paper, there are the issues of the, uh, issues of the justices regarding the age which uh, the election commission uh, indicated was, a, was, a, was an error that needed to be corrected. But generally, the process is smooth. I came in, and uh, there, there's evidence that this, the process is well organized. At least, and um, must give credit to election commission for that. Uh, the, the people are guided uh, very well. Uh, so I think we must give them some some plus on that issue. Why it is true that this issue regarding the justices is is one of an error. Yet I don't think it should be cloud the entire process. The collective good, the national good that this process provides, the dividends, the political dividends they offer far exceeds what we could see as uh, some error that has been made. This is, this is creating a, a skepticism. Uh, it comes at a time when people were already, it's one of the controversial issues. Uh, people tend to disagree with it, and then the election commission is claiming it made um, uh, uh, an error. People think this is an unacceptable error. And some people are calling for an action to be taken. People are outright to say, Tomoyan should be dismissed. Uh, for fear that if he can make a mistake during this referendum, the mistake will even be worse during the elections. Let us not look at um, this uh, development in a very minute way, in a very limited way. You know, there are limited vision that people can see things. I see it through a broader spectrum. And I think, as I said, the collective national good far exceeds what now constitutes an error in this case. I don't believe that the Election Commission has displayed gross incompetence to a level where uh, the error has been so grievous where we must now be cloud this process. Um, it will be unfortunate if we take that direction. I believe that uh, why the truth this has happened, I think we can build upon it and uh, the lessons learned from here will ensure that our national electoral process regarding political candidates, regarding the presidency and representatives as well as senator will be much different. Uh, the commission had conducted previous elections before. Uh, we know that there have been by elections, this election the commission had conducted. It went very well. We know that these elections went very well so that even opposition candidates won in, in a free and fair process. And so we must begin now as librarians to look far ahead of us as we move forward and consolidate the gains of democratic empowerment rather than look backward and begin to demonize. There's a tendency we rush easily to crucify, condemn and demonize. We don't try to understand. And I think when these things happen, let us begin to appreciate and understand that as human beings, uh, as we move forward, there will be no error. But we must. The fact is we must learn from those lessons of the errors we make. Sir, just before you Thank you, Minister. Was finally, what's your take on the floor? That's the voice of uh, Public mm -hmm. Minister Sumi Kofi, which has uh, cast his pattern in the national like referendum. Phenomenon, but I think as we build on our democratic uh, environment, we must also understand that this country is still involved. We still consolidate the game. Um, there's ignorance of the process. There's still indifference in trying to understand the dividends that we can accrue from the process. And I think that is important. But before I leave, let me make a almost a comment. I will be submitting a letter probably to the Catholic bishops of Liberia in order for them to mobilize the religious community so that we can be able to discuss what appeared to be creeping violence in the electoral process. Um, I think this is very important. We know that when it comes to consolidating law enforcement, yes, the government has the power to do that. But I think we need to reinforce the moral order in this society. And the religious community has a role to play. So I think that one, if they can come together 
and invite all of the candidates, uh, especially the presidential candidates, and the chair of political party, probably to um, a bi-weekly or a bi-monthly breakfast, dinner or something that is made public so that they all as leaders can discuss specific issues, either is election violence, either is other kinds of issues. Let Liberians from all work of life and different political persuasion and partisan posture begin to see their leaders, people who they want to vote for, talking and having a dialogue on the political and other issues affecting the country. So they know that they can take cue if the leaders are having dialogue, they themselves can begin to have dialogue and resolve issues of disagreement. So I think uh, very soon I'm sending a letter to the Catholic Bishop uh, of Liberia. Uh, you know they just issued a pastoral letter, uh, very positive. So I think building on that pastoral letter, I will encourage them to go the next step to provide leadership with the religious community to bring our political leaders to dialogue. How and to have soon a uh, who are Well, I think the Catholic, you know, one, I'm a Catholic. Uh, I work for the Catholic Justice and Peace Commission all my years. And I believe that the leadership of the Catholic Church, given the Bishop Conference role in recent times, will be very important.